Did you know that Chromebooks have accessibility features built into them? This video will demonstrate how to access those and how to help students access those in your classroom. So Chromebooks have features built into them that students can use. I emphasize they are built into the Chromebook. They just have to be turned on and they work. Um, there's Chromevox. What Chromevox does is it basically will read every single thing on the screen out loud, as well as all the keys that are pressed as well. And there are a couple key combinations that help navigate the screen. Chromevox is for use with a visually impaired student that can't see the screen. So if you work with a student that's visually impaired, let me know and I will send you a video. I have one from Google that really explains how it works. There's select to speak and dictation. So to get to these, we're going to go to settings, advanced and accessibility. So I'm going to get out of my slideshow here and I'm using Screencastify. So this is a one take deal. If I click in the bottom right corner and go up here to settings. It'll take me to my Chromebook settings. I can scroll all the way to the bottom. I'm using two fingers to scroll down. Click advanced. And then I'm going to use two finger scroll to go all the way down to the bottom. And down here I have accessibility. So always show accessibility options in the system menu. And I usually turn that on. What that means then is that students can access those options right here. So the two options I'd like to show you are select to speak. You can see it's toggled on. And if it's toggled on, there'll be a little icon for it down here. The other one's dictation. And now there's a microphone toggled here. So select to speak works like this. If I select some text on my screen and then I hold down the search key and the S, it'll speak to me. All Chromebooks have a key that has a little search icon on it. Always show accessibility options in the system menu. If I want it to stop talking in the middle, I push control. If I can get it to work again. Always show accessibility options in the system menu. And then control. So this works on web pages. So I've highlighted this. Female race car drivers bring skill and dignity to a male centric sport. Or I can go to the Constitution. This is a PDF. Now it will read a lot of PDFs, but if the PDF is a picture, it won't read that. So let's try this one general welfare and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity to ordain and establish this constant. Again, I hit control to get out of it. And I can even use it on a document. Select to speak. And then again, search S to make it work and control to get out of it. And it's on when this icon's in the bottom here. Now, the other one that I'd like to show you is the microphone. And we can see I was playing with it earlier. So if I hit the microphone here, now everything that I say will be recorded on the screen. And the reason this is so awesome is because in, in this, we could do voice typing in one of the Google suites, but voice type speaker notes, that's all it'll let me do in Google. It'll only let me type down in here with my voice, but with the microphone down here, I can basically go anywhere in my Chromebook and use speech to text option, which is a pretty great feature. So those are the two of the main accessibility features that students will most likely need. You might see some do high contrast mode, the full screen magnifier. I'm not going to demonstrate it because I can never get out of it. <laughs> it's hard to find the controls again because they're way down in the corner. Um, automatic clicks, the on-screen keyboard students may want it. Um, we used to use it because it has the microphone for voice to text, but they added the dictation mic right down here. So there's a couple other features in here that you might see students using, but those two are the ones that they'll use the most. Have a great Tuesday, and I will see you next week.